Uh, Fiji seeks the floor. I give the floor to Fiji. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, some of us may not be able to have the full ability to fully embrace the, all the outcomes, and it may be somewhat constrained, but I think we need to support the outcome of this, con uh, of this conference overall through consensus, because that is critically important. Very briefly, in the interest of time, uh, Mr. President, while it, while it has taken far too long and comes riddled with caveats, as some may see, we do welcome the draft text calling for the phase out of coal and fossil fuel subsidies. Uh, this is the first time we've seen tangible movement, with specific reference made to two of the uh, two greatest drivers of warming. We welcome the renewed commitment by developed country partners to meet the USD 100 billion target. We also welcome the draft decision text on the long term finance and to extend the independent monitoring of the 100 billion dollar uh, 100 billion dollar target to 2027. In 2015, 1.5 degree was a compromise the Pacific nations made in the Paris Agreement for the sake of collective action. Today, we make that compromise also regarding loss and damage, and we have been asked to do this, and we will do this for the sake of the collective action. We need to prevent a cataclysmic future. We believe uh, we support paragraph 73 and 74 with the understanding that the dialogue referred to in these paragraphs will set out the start of a process through which we can expect real engagement and practical solutions that will produce a finance-based outcome on loss and damage by COP27. Mr. President, uh, we believe that these negotiations represent our best and only chance of securing the collective intent and shared action needed to manage the scale and complexity of the climate crisis. We need to build and let's build on the progress we've secured and work towards an outcome COP27 that delivers tangible and equitable progress. With that, we support the outcome. Thank you.